What is up you guys? Welcome back to the MedBros channel and sorry for the sporadic uploads. We upload here and there and then we think we're on a run and then something comes up. It's just medical life unfortunately. So residency has been pretty tough. Month after month, hard rotation after hard rotation, even some of these easier rotations end up being pretty difficult. And that unfortunately has inevitably led me to head down the path of burnout. Overall, it's been building up since the first month of residency, really. It's just this really hard hitting amount of work that you're just coming into, especially after coming off of a quarantine where we weren't doing rotations. My class wasn't doing rotations and we were kind of just hanging out, really just having a good time at home, as good of a time as we can have as our vacations were all cut short due to due to COVID. Then all of a sudden you go zero to hundred, month after month is a new rotation and it's really difficult. And unfortunately, it has led to burnout. And very honestly, all throughout my life, I have really not experienced anything like this. I spend more time on basketball courts than I have in a classroom throughout all of college and all of medical school. Really, it's you do things at your own pace. It's a, it's a grind, but you still have time to take care of yourself and do your own things if you do it the right way. Tips on that are throughout this <laughs> channel. So if you're having difficulty with medical school, check out the rest of our videos. But overall, I haven't ever really felt this overwhelming amount of work and sense of burnout ever in my life before throughout all of my academics. The main thing is residency just isn't like that. You are there, you're waking up in the morning, you're showing up, you're grinding at your work. There's no doing things in an optimal way. Unfortunately, the way the system is set up, there's a lot of inefficiencies and there's no way around it. You can't do your own efficient methods or correct things that are built into the system and you just have to work with what you're given. All these frustrating processes, these difficult cases and all this stuff comes together and creates this formula where if you're going day in and day out on this same thing every day, it really starts to wear down on you. And of course, we're finally at the point where we're residents, we're doctors, we're doing things that we've been wanting to do ever since we started this training. We're putting in orders and actually making somewhat our own decisions decisions on how to care for patients and we're involved in patient care at this point but in the end of the day that really is a glorification of what we're actually doing really a lot of the times we're writing notes we're running around and we are putting these orders in that attendings are telling us to do and uh you know running around doing admissions admission orders running in and and then you present what you want to do and it might be completely different than what your attending wants to do and then you feel kind of like why am i just doing this grunt work essentially especially as an intern top of that hours are absurd the pay is pretty embarrassing to be honest with you for the amount of work that is being done. Honestly, I might be better off just picking up side shares say in and out instead of moonlighting or anything like that. That Chick-fil-A general manager position is looking pretty good right now. Overall, when you look at all these factors and it just comes together and to be honest with you, I've been feeling like pretty much trash for the past couple months. Like it's been getting worse and worse. Eating terribly, having no exercise, having no time to do other stuff. A lot of video ideas I want to do and it's just limited by when you come home, you're just out of energy. And of course, you can have that mentality. You see Gary Vee and these guys running around, hustle, hustle, hustle all the time. But like that's not good for your mental health either. There's caveats to all of that. And um, and just is limiting. It's it's an unfortunate situation. I think this is the part where I should uh, I should start crying on camera. Will that get you to hit the like button down below? While we're on the topic, please be sure to hit subscribe and hit the like button down below. It helps out the videos so much. I know we haven't been urging you guys to do that as much as we should have, but it takes only a second, guys. Please hit that like button if you liked it. If you didn't like it, dislike it. Sorry. <laughs> but overall, I'm doing better now over the past month than I have been since I started residency. And that shockingly started during my ICU rotation. It was during my ICU rotation where I realized this is what it's gonna be. There's no changing it. This is the worst it's gonna be in terms of hours and work and things aren't gonna change. So you have to make those changes within what you're doing right now or nothing will ever get done and you're gonna be stuck in this perpetual cycle. It's a crappy feeling where you feel like you're in your prime, you're doing this work. And, and again, while it might be glamorized while we're doing in essence as an intern and as we're going through residency, you're really not still at that attending level. It's you're still a resident, you're still doing things like grunt work. And, and while you're doing what you love, you're still holding back on some of these other passions and other things that are just essential to your life, like working out, eating right, and doing this and other hobbies that we, we have aside from medicine. Really, it was during this rotation I realized that either you continue on with your current lifestyle of putting in these long hours, coming home, not really doing anything productive, eating out junk, not working out, going to work, you know, work home, work home, either go down that cycle or still finding the time and the grind to really fit in these things that you want to do 
while you're in this crazy cycle because it is still possible you do get that one day off that half day off that day you get out early where you can take advantage of it before it was i get that little bit of time and it's like oh man i need to rest i need to rejuvenate and things like that but that's more of a mentality thing because while i felt i was overwhelmed and getting burnt out and doing all this stuff and doing work and coming home there was still opportunity for me to do stuff i just wasn't doing stuff with that time instead i was just saying hey i'm in the icu i'm busy or i'm on a super crazy rotation i'm busy i'm just gonna come home i'm gonna eat some junk play video games for like an hour and go to bed and do it again and again and again while i was stuck in that cycle i realized i still did have that time i still did have that time to come home and eat right i still had that time on the half day to work out i still had time to make some videos like this on my day off and i was just using an excuse of being in this really busy cycle and i can't do it and i really had to break out of that so burnout will throw you into that cycle and it really is up to you to get out of that because unfortunately the system is not changing the system is absolutely broken the kind of hours and the pay and everything that the residents are doing even though you'll hear old heads say hey it was way worse for me when it was back then it's like where's that meme can i throw that meme up here the you're a victim mm. here we go CSI. that's not something you're proud of you are essentially all these old heads that go on about this stuff are essentially proud of being overworked down to the bone when they absolutely did not need to have that the biggest thing was making the change to not give myself the excuse that I'm in this enslavement of residency and to start utilizing my time appropriately rather than just chalking up and being lazy and feeling sorry for myself that I'm stuck in this perpetual crazy cycle is you have to just get out of it and make the most out of out of the time you're given. And overall, I've been doing a lot better. I've been working out. I've been feeling better, eating better. Just everything's been just on the up and up in this last past month like i said ironically starting during the icu and i know a lot of you guys out there just matched congrats to all the new matches out there i'm going to be doing a bunch of tips videos for all you new residents going into residency i've learned so much and I think I have a lot of tips for you guys going in. So be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for those videos. This residency is going to lead you down this route of getting in this hole. And my advice is it's okay to feel like that. It's okay to kind of go down this route of feeling sorry for yourself and feeling overwhelmed and things like that. But you can't stay there. You have to get out of that hole because the system's not changing. You're either going to drown or you're going to have to start swimming really fast. Get a feel for your program, kind of feel it out, you know, get used to things and then start making the changes in your life that are going to be compatible with your program so that you don't end up in that cycle and end up gaining a whole lot of weight, feeling unhealthy, feeling terrible and, and going down this cycle where things don't look too good. And on top of that, you got this really hard residency to deal with. With that guys, do not get burned out, whether you're in residency or whatever you're doing, burnout affects all of us. So make sure you remember those things that it's okay to feel like that dig yourself out of it take care of yourself don't get caught up in things thank you so much for watching the video and we'll see you guys in the next one Bene, could you come here doing a video on burnout and uh i need to have a little crying segment could you give me a nice slap here so maybe some tears come out I don't know, don't your ears, uh, I usually get teared up when you get a nice slap to the face.